Hey guys, hope you're having a good holiday season. I just, I was just online uh, updating the channel and some of its metadata, and I was scrolling through uh, YouTube here and found a video uh, by Mart, who uh, downloaded the latest Project Feline build and just kind of messed around with it for a whopping 43 minutes. And I know that might not seem like a long time, but I think it is. And I want to sort of talk about how like that that's actually quite special to me and i kind of wanted to share that um so with game design as as i'm sure a lot of you know it, it takes a long time to build a game especially when you're by yourself uh it, it and it's a it comes at a great cost as well there's so many things that can go wrong uh there are so many things to consider and to analyze and uh the past two years i've been developing project feel and i've tried to do my best to to push through uh, the resistance and the problems and to try and make something. And it just really makes me happy to see that even though Project Feline doesn't have the big budget production value that other games do, despite all that, people are still willing to sit down and play it for 40 minutes without getting up out of their chair or alt tabbing to something else. Um, if there are any game design students here that watch me, you'll know that I think getting to that point is a lot harder than most people think. Uh, when you make your very first game, uh, it's usually quite common that you might get your close friends and family to play it, and they might play it for maybe five minutes and then want to do something else. Um, but no, it's it's really something to see me uh, make this thing, and then there's people out there that I've never met before that are willing to like take 40 minutes out of their day to just mess around with it. And um, yeah, I just want to say I appreciate that a lot. There's a lot to the development that a lot of people don't see. Um, and I know a lot of people are very critical on like the more superficial elements of it, like its visuals or its presentation. Um, but that's not really my goal at the moment. My goal is to try and, I guess, make something that is engaging, even without the, the graphics or the sound. Even though I have delved a bit into those areas to just flex my wings and experiment, um, ultimately, I'm very happy that even without those, like, the core experience still seems engaging to people and uh, that's really cool. So I want to thank the people that can see past those rough edges um, and are having fun with this thing. I also want to give a thank you to the other people as well that have been, uh, that have been playing the game for a while, like Psychroclasm. He's been making a, a lot of videos about um, Project Feline and to all the speedrunners as well, uh, like the guys on my Discord uh, for, you know, consistently trying to one-up each other and and participate in the community. I really appreciate that sort of thing. So with that said, I just want, I guess wanted to, I guess, sign off with that for the year and just say that I know it's, it's in its rough state. There's still a long way to go. Believe me, very long way to go, but thanks to everyone who's sticking around this early, uh, and is interested to see where this might go. And, uh, yeah, I, I just want to give a thank you as well to my Patreon supporters who have been helping me uh, uh to make the devlog videos that you guys can watch it doesn't necessarily go towards the game but um all of that support helps me document everything i'm doing uh because a lot of people will often just you know make the game in private in their basement and no one will really hear about it uh, i was always wanting to try and share what i could as i went and it's not always easy doing that so i do appreciate um that i have the support so that i can set time aside to put these videos together. And of course, I want to thank the people who've been buying the merch. I think this was the first year I decided to design my own t-shirts and stuff. And uh, that was quite a success. And I, I appreciate everyone that took a look at those and got some for themselves or their friends. Um, all of that really helps me to continue developing the game. And um, also the people that have just been following it on the Discord and on YouTube and everywhere else. So if you want to see where this will go next, because there's a lot of things I want to try and there's a lot of plans I've got for next year. Um, I can't say what they are yet because I don't know how this is going to go. But if you're curious to know what my development goals are, you can head over to projectfeline.com slash roadmap. And I usually try and keep a comprehensive plan of what I'm planning to do. That can always change though, but I usually try and keep it up to date. Um, and if you want to see what progress looks like. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch lately. So if you want to see the progress I'm working on before the devlogs come out, you can go follow me on Twitch, link down in the description. And uh, also follow the new social media pages I've made for the game, uh, the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages if you want to catch notifications, unless YouTube somehow doesn't notify you, which has been happening. Um, 
And yeah, so thanks so much for a, an amazing 2020 for my game. And I hope that next year will be just as awesome, if not more. So thanks for sticking around. I will see you next time.